a group of congressional Democrats are advancing legislation to provide direct diaper assistance to families in need. The Hygiene Assistance for Families of Infants and Toddlers Act of 2015 was introduced last month by Minnesota Democrat Congressman Keith Ellison and co-sponsored by 19 other members of the House of Representatives. One of those co-sponsors is Representative Barbara Lee, a Democrat from California who joins me now from Berkeley and back with us in Nerdland from Raleigh, North Carolina is Michelle Old, founder of the Diaper Bank of North Carolina. Representative Lee, I want to start with you. Tell me what this bill would do if it passes. Thank you uh, very much, Melissa. Let me first congratulate Michelle and just thank you because you, this is an example of how democracy works. I mean, we're inspired by what Michelle has done, and we want this to be part of a policy that uh, HR 4055 really would put into place. What we want to do, Congressman Ellison, Congresswoman DeLauro, myself, and others, is to require states to develop a demonstration project, or at least allow states to do that, and provide grants to assist those who need diaper assistance. When you look at the fact that women and men spend 70 to 80 dollars a month on diaper needs, yet a large percentage of, of families either reuse the, the, the diapers or delay the changing diapers. That, that's because they just don't have the resources uh, to purchase the adequate amount of diapers. And so we believe that funds that uh, could be allocated for a variety of reasons could be allocated for diaper assistance and we want to give states the authority to develop these demonstration projects throughout the country. And this is, I just have to tell you, I was so excited uh, when I heard this and Michelle, it's in part because I have become, um, I think as many people who hear you speak, I have just become a diaper advocate since the first time I heard you talk about it. So how understand why diapers are so important? Why are they a health issue and, and why are they such a big deal? Well, it, you know, our everyday work is about diapers, but really it's much more than that. It's about connecting families to resources that help them become self-sustaining. For example, example, we use diapers as a gateway to other services. So we see increased home visits that deter child abuse. We see um, increased immunizations. We see families that are able to provide for their children, take the diapers that they need to child care centers so that they can go to work, and that they can buy the things they need for their family. And so it is much more than a simple diaper. It has a huge impact on our community, on the families that live in them, and on children because they're healthier. This, this is such a, I'll never forget you making this point, Michelle, that um, many child care centers require you to bring diapers. And so if you don't have diapers, you cannot drop the child off at child care, which means obviously you can't go to work. And so, Representative Lee, I just, you know, you are the one congressional representative who has come repeatedly on this show and talked with regular folks, living their lives, dealing with a set of problems. You had that experience with Tiana Gaines Turner. I am. When you said this is how democracy is supposed to work, I keep feeling representatively like exactly we're supposed to look at the problems that exist in our community and then mm -hmm. help government is supposed to help us to fix them, make them better for people who are trying to do better for themselves. Tell me how likely you think it is that this will pass the Congress that we know is so split. Well, thank you, Melissa. First of all, let me just say once again to Michelle and all of those uh, who really uh, are inspiring this effort. Uh, I formerly was on public assistance myself in food stamps, and so many don't understand what this really means and how uh, young women, especially single young women, have to really struggle just to make meet each and every day and so as chair of the task force on income inequality poverty and opportunity we're looking at innovative ways to help lift families out of poverty this is a very creative and innovative strategy to use and so we're going to fight and we're going to make sure that uh, this legislation gets co-sponsors and Michelle I know that people around the country are going to support this the more co-sponsors we get the and the more public awareness that uh, is, is made in terms of educating the public about the very important health aspects of this, what Michelle said in terms of the comprehensive nature of these strategies to lift people out of poverty. I think the more people learn about this, the more co-sponsorship we can build, and then the more c members of Congress will listen. So we've just got to fight the good fight, and, and we're going to win sooner or later. Uh, this is a long-term struggle. It's a marathon, but I'm really 
confident that when people learn about what Michelle and others are going through and what this movement about is about, we'll pass this legislation. Michelle, what is the one thing that you want people to really know about the work that your diaper bank and others do across the country? Well, we just recently did a study through UNC Greensboro, and what was really uh, important to point out about that study is that the majority of families that seek assistance with diapers are working families. Over 75% of them in our study alone. They are working one to two jobs and they still cannot afford the basic needs to keep their children healthy and keep food on the table. And we get calls all the time from teachers, from military families that cannot make ends meet. And so we are really talking about working poor, struggling to provide the basic needs for their children yep. and their families. I've, I've said it to everybody in my life, all of my friends and family, I have every single thing that I need and all I want. Christmas is a donation to your local, local diaper bank. Thank you to Representative okay. Barbara Lee in Berkeley, California. Thank also, thank you to Michelle Old in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's our show for today. Thanks to you at home for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.